sling bag is really popular for shoe accessories right now and they are metallic so it's a win win. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. So we are just a little over a week away from it officially being spring. And I figured last year I did like spring trends, thrifting spring trends, and you guys really loved it. And so I wanna bring that back again. One of my favorite things to do when having an upcoming season start is to look online at the most famous and well-known websites magazines things like that and see what kinds of things are going to be trending for the season ahead of course we obviously know that trends always come back around and certain things and certain patterns are always popular whenever a season changes. So I put together a list on my phone of a few like key trends that I was seeing online as well as some honorable mentions. So the first thing that we have on our list that was honestly the most popular one that I saw was sheer and lace. So whether that be like a sheer dress with, you know, undergarments that are peeking out a little bit, a sheer top. I've been seeing a lot of like lacy skirts with kind of like oversized t-shirts. That seems to be kind of the trend lately. A side note, when I was looking at all of these trends, a lot of it seems like people are also sort of getting ready for festival season, which is also around the corner and these kind of tie into that a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a like festival style thrift with me. I think that'd be kind of fun. The next one is elevated sportswear. So last summer we saw a lot of those like soccer jerseys, oversized jerseys, like a little bit more athletic wear moving into like mainstream fashion. Actually last week went to an outdoor mall with my best friend and the amount of soccer jerseys and athletic wear on basic t-shirts that I, that I saw, it was everywhere. That and denim, like denim vests. I don't know why that was, but they were everywhere. So it's definitely sticking around for another season. Another one that I saw was metallic, whether that be silver or gold. Um, like metallic clothing, so metallic pants, a metallic mini skirt, shirt, not just your silver and gold for like accessories, but actually wearing it as well. Another one that I saw all over the place was like business chic. Uh, one of, I think it was Glamour that was that said that it's going to be office undone which from what i saw online it looks like it's more like business casual wear kind of being brought out into everyday fashion not just for work wear but really incorporating it into kind of your like weekend wear as well I know for sure I wear a lot of trousers and loafers and blazers kind of in my everyday wear anyways, so we're going to be seeing more of that. Another one that I saw a lot of was animal print, but specifically cheetah print. So I've been seeing this ever since fall that cheetah print was going to be really, really popular and it seems like it's going to be sticking around for spring as well, but obviously in shorter silhouettes, like shorter dresses, little flats and sandals, things like that. I do also have some honorable mentions here that I saw kind of sprinkled throughout in either one or two articles, but I feel like are gonna be important for the season as well. So that is the color butter yellow, sky blue, hot pants, 
rosettes, which are like the little flower appliques that we saw last like spring. Those are still going to be popular. And statement belts, like those big chunky belts that uh, we saw kind of in the mid 2010s. This is one that I didn't see necessarily on the articles, but I've been seeing a lot in the TikTok space. And just when I was shopping with my friend, actually at the mall the other, other day, the revival of the Tumblr phase it being coined as indie sleaze. It's basically grunge uh, from like the, the early 2010s. Uh, if you were on Tumblr or on the internet at that time, it was, you know, the Brandy Melville kind of like of a grunge scene. I'm gonna put some pictures here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about if you are unfamiliar, but that has also been something that I've been seeing all over the place and that is something that is gonna be trending, I guess, for the spring season. So if you're a little bit more grungy, a little bit more goth, the ballet core and the coquette aesthetics have been all over the place, but now it is your time to shine with the more grungy, darker, kind of aesthetic. I am at my local OC Goodwill boutique this time because I'm on a bit of a time crunch again. Um, as you can see, the sun is starting to set and it's gonna be harder to film, but I figured with a boutique setting, it's a little bit more curated, it's a little bit more easier to find kind of the things that I think that I'm gonna be looking for. And I don't believe I've taken you to a boutique location before. So we're gonna check out this one and see what we can find. This also is gonna be more of just kind of looking around and seeing what kind of trends are out in the thrift store land. Not necessarily bringing an, anything home, I don't believe. If you follow my other social media, I shared that I wanna do a spring clean out hopefully soon. So I'm really not interested in bringing anything home. That isn't something that isn't gonna really wow me. It would have to really shock me and be a good price point in order for me to bring it home because right now I don't really need anything. Of course, I still wanna bring you guys along, so let's just head in there.
happy with the way this is going and because we're at the boutique it's a little bit more curated so I can find things quicker which is also nice. So I didn't mention this because it was very niche but sling back is really popular for shoe accessories right now and they are metallic so it's a win. -win. next day obviously I wasn't going to film <laughs> in the car in the dark um, that would be you probably couldn't see me very well and I'd have to show my phone like this like <laughs> like you're at a campfire and it's like spooky and just my face is illuminated <laughs> but anyways um, that was a great thrift trip yesterday I feel like that was I mean I think all my thrift trips are great to be fair but I felt like it was fun being very selective with the things that I was looking for and surprisingly that thrift store had a lot of the pieces that I was looking for a lot of metallic actually um, I actually tried on those metallic pants uh, that I you will see here but they didn't fit so I was a little bummed about that because those pants were pretty cool but I obviously didn't go home with anything I really didn't need anything like I said before we were just kind of browsing and checking out what kinds of things are gonna be trending for spring obviously trends come and go and so you don't have to go out and buy a new wardrobe because you know certain styles or certain certain things are trending but it is always fun if you are interested in trend forecasting and kind of going with the trends to go to your local thrift store and see what kinds of things they have because obviously there is always a plethora of things available and trends obviously come back around so you're bound to find something at a thrift store some of the trends that I really love that I would be incorporating would be uh, that sky blue blue and green are my favorite colors and so obviously that is something that I can incorporate into my wardrobe very easily and wear a lot I don't know if I would necessarily go into the metallic trend. I've been kind of jumping back into silver in terms of accessories more. I was a gold girl for quite a few years, um, but I'm kind of loving the idea of getting back into silver. So if I were to implement something like metallic, Honestly, I'd probably go with maybe like a purse or something like that, or shoes even. Business core, which is kind of a ridiculous name to me uh, because people have corporate jobs and so it's not like a aesthetic. It's a job, 
and people need to wear certain items, but business core, I mean, like I said in my initial clips, I have trousers, I have blazers. Those are the easiest things that you can find at thrift stores and you can dress it up, dress it down. And in this case, the trend is dressing down, but that's something I kind of already have in my closet. But that is going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, trend forecasting. I absolutely love trend forecasting. I learned about it in school and it is one of my favorite things within fashion. So if you want me to do more kind of like trending topics, whether it's in a niche or just an overall broad uh, topic like just spring, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. If you are not already, definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below. You can find all my social media here as I post more thrifting and lifestyle content over there. And last but not least, I will see you guys on the next video.